I began as a journalist, so it was natural. You know, those things came into my uh, filmmaking. I'll just read you a few definitions of Dr. Trump <laughs> from uh, Sam Levine, who is the producer of a Canadian series called For the Red Cross, and so I think it's self-explanatory. I haven't seen it before myself. Um, he said that Dr. Trump is a dramatic recreation of a true story as it happened, using for the most part real characters of uh, Brian Winston, who is a historian of documentary. And he said, I think if you have a bug in the wall and you actually have a verbatim account of some event, if you've got a court transcript and so on, that sort of thing, then you can say this is not a drama. Anything else is spurious. Talk about the, the docudrama, the fictionalization of real events. And I'm thinking about the, the flip side of that, where you, where you appropriate documentary or journalistic techniques to a completely fictional plot, like the, what, what's that horrible movie called? Cloverfield, where it's this, it's this movie where it's a completely fictional happening, but it's shot as if it were really going on. And I wonder if you had anything to say about this appropriation of you know, documentary or journalistic techniques in purely fictional plot. If you are making a fictional film using documentary approach, the creative process is always uh, fictional. You know, the other side of that is, even with documentary, and in well-known documentaries, all the people are real. You do work on the dramatic structure as though they are playing themselves. Uh, there is always that tension between uh, what is real and our relationship with the 